Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel and we're back with Football Manager 2020 and the promotion project with Inverness Caledonian Thistle. And today we are taking on the current leaders, Hamilton, uh, away from home. Uh, they're unbeaten so far in the league. We haven't had the best of starts. We've won one game, which was the game we won last time. And that's it so far in the league. So bit of a shaky start to the season, but still plenty of time left for it. We'll see if we can pick up some more points. And hopefully today we can look at getting some sort of result. As always, if you're enjoying the series, drop a like down below and leave comments. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, please do consider subscribing and turning on notifications. Past 28 days, I've had no new subscribers and I want to change that. So if you are enjoying this, please do subscribe. I'm stuck on about 7.55 at the moment. So it'd be nice to try and get to 800 soon, hopefully um, in this series. But we'll have that. We'll see. Uh, last episode, we kicked off our uh, Scottish Championship campaign with um, a good win over Queen of the South, 2 0 away from home. And it was a good result, and it's been the only win in the league so far. So, hopefully, we can get something today and then get some more points in the next few games. We followed the win over Queen of the South with a home draw against Rafe Rovers. Game with a few chances. 1-1. Both goals coming fairly late on. Wasn't a terrific match. Uh, Roddy McGregor got the goal for us. That came on 82 minutes. His first goal um, of the season for Inverness. And uh, Rafe got the equaliser. 91st minute, Robert Thompson with uh, the goal from the bench. So, uh, there's a game of few chances. 1-1. Probably fair, but not fantastic, really. Like, for a team that wants, like, they want mid-table... Our prediction is around mid-table. We've been all right, but hopefully we can get better results than this. We then lost 1-0 at home in the Highlands Derby against uh, Ross County. It's the one sort of big derby that we've got, um, the one against Ross County. Both sort of Highland teams, the highest um, sort of rated teams in the Scottish Highlands. And we lost 1-0 at home. Christian and Bulu, uh, the defender, gets the goal on 26 minutes. Again, very few chances in this game. We had one, they had one. And they had their goal. They probably deserved it. We didn't create very much at all. With nine shots on target, one of those was a clear-cut chance. It wasn't even clear-cut. It was a half chance from nine shots on target. So a disappointing uh, loss in the derby. And the Betfred Cup's going okay, though. We went through the second round, beat Partick Thistle 2-1. Uh, Nickel with a 40th minute goal. And then Jamie Gullen just before half-time, making it 2-0. Uh, Partick with a, a goal in stoppage time. Uh, just a consolation goal. Lewis Moore, 94th minute. Few few shots in this one, but we got two goals. They got one, and it was a like a solid performance by us. And again, they had lots of shots, but none of them really causing much of a problem for us. So we got through in this, and we're into the quarterfinals. We've got Rangers next, so that's going to be tough to get a result there. But this has gone well. Fourth and final game off camera was another home draw. This one was against uh, Dundee, and again, pretty close. I think a fair result. Uh, they might have had a couple more chances than us. But um, yeah, we were okay in this one. Um, they scored a Nesbitt 55 minutes. Uh, we equalised on the 80th minute with uh, Jordan White. So again, it's another point. Like, I don't know how we're expected to do. Like, the the board want mid-table. We're, seven, we're seventh at the moment. So I think we're clear of like relegation. We are mid-table at the moment. That's what we're getting. Last season preview, seventh as well. So... Uh, we're, we're doing okay at the moment. We're surviving. If we stay like this, we'll be okay. But this is the promotion project. We want to be doing better than this. We've got a C plus at the moment. Our match performances have been mostly good. Uh, they don't like the defeat over Ross County or the draw against Rafe. Uh, that was the one who lost to Peterhead in the Betfred Cup. That wasn't good. But otherwise, we're, we're, we're doing okay. It's a passable grade. Uh, there, ha there are a few more signings to show you. Um, Tom Northcott went for some money, £30,000. We didn't get much of that back from the revenue. We get like 15% transfer revenue back for our budget. So we actually can't actually buy anyone else because we have no more money. We can't buy anyone unless they're on like a less than £100 contract. We can't offer wages of more than like £120 a week. So we can't buy anyone useful. But we have got some more players in. I think the last person I showed you was Ethan Ross. The, uh, the winger from Aberdeen. I think that was the last guy I showed you. Since then, we've got three. We've got Jordan Graham, central midfielder that was signed by our head of youth development, so you won't ever see him play for the first team. Uh, Jack Wilson is a free from Kelty Hart, so he's a left-back with a bit of potential. Again, I think this is someone bought by our uh, our youth development guy, but um, yeah, I don't know how well these guys are going to do. I don't know why they're being bought, really. We have brought in Ash Teller, though, who's a free transfer. Last played for Aberdeen. Looks like a good centre-back and will partner um, McCart at the moment, um, who, again, has been 
subject he hasn't been subject to any bids but he still wants a move just no one's come in for him uh walsh we have had people trying to buy him but we've been rejecting the bids for tom walsh so the squad's not too bad uh, we just haven't got any more money so we can't buy anyone else i did try and get another player on a loan but it limits the number of loans per season to four so we cannot loan anyone else for the rest of the season the, the young guy that we had on loan I sent back thinking, oh, we'll go back to four. But no, that still counts. So we can't loan anyone else for the rest of the season. Not even from when we get to January. But we've got Hamilton today who have had a good start to the season. They're unbeaten in their first four games. Let's see if we can do something about that today. There's some Scottish Cup games today as well. Um, but yeah, they are favourites for the game. It might be close though. I thought that about the, Ros the uh, Queen of the South game. They're bottom of the table. Hopefully we can get something here. So we'll do a quick pick, see what it gives us. It's given the same thing. Uh, we're going to go with Jackson on the right though uh, and then Walsh and uh, White's playing Trafford, McGregor and Brown the midfield three are doing okay actually not doing too bad uh, we'll swap those two around Ridges has been a bit questionable in goal he has had some mistakes in him uh, but yeah this is the first 11 that's the bench uh, are we going to do anything differently here we'll Tighten marking on put that back to normal we'll go standard directness and let's get rid of the long kicks okay let's see what that does. 4 2 1 3 for Hamilton. Cole Donaldson plays for Hamilton. Of course, we sold him to them. So hopefully we can score against him because he wanted a move. He's got a move. He should be happy. But let's see how this goes. We have got an early free kick here and it's gone in. Jamie McCart has scored from the free kick three minutes in. It's a great start to the game. Hopefully we can build on it and try and keep a clean sheet here. But a free kick, the centre back's taken it. The goalkeeper has not done well there and it's gone in. Okay, we've done it now. We've scored against Donaldson. That's it. We seem to be doing better away from home than we are at home at the moment, which is strange. We're having lots of possession in this one. We've had one shot, which we've scored from. And that's the only highlight we've had so far. But there is one here. It's a free kick for Hamilton, which we're not ever going to see. Why would you show me that little snippet of football? I don't know. Clark with a free kick here for Hamilton, though. And it's Ness. Alston, I think his name was. Oh, the defense, the attacker is way wide. And the header on goal by Ross Cunningham, and it's 1 1 on half an hour. They were very wide then, and our defensive line should be wider. But they didn't get him. So, okay. And we are on Titan Mark and Elizabeth, but he had lots of space there. He was very wide, and we couldn't do anything about it. Like, who's that? Jackson maybe could have tracked back a bit better and caught him, but didn't. And there was the cross and Cunningham with pretty much a free header as well. So the marking not good there. And now we do have another free kick at our end, Walsh. And a header on goal. And is it going to go in? Uh, It's not been given. No, okay. It was close to crossing the line, but it didn't. Okay, half time is 1 1. Draws away from home are good. I think we've played well. Okay, keep it up. That's a good first half. Like I said, draws away from home are okay. I can take them. We're going to try and stay on feet when tackling. That's the only little change I'm going to make. And hopefully we can get another goal. But the goal came from a defender from a free kick. Open play. We're not really doing much. And Jackson and Walsh, the wired players, have been quiet. Uh, White up top has not had much to do. So we're going to take Walsh off. And we're going to go with Ethan Ross. Uh, we'll go inverted winger support. Cunningham has got... How? Why? Like, he was so open. Why was no one near him? Okay, right. It's 2-1 Hamilton. We'll see this again because, like, it happened quite quickly. Arsenal... Look how much space he's in. Like, the, the defence were fast asleep. Harper's on a 6-3. We're at 17 minutes. We're now 2-1 down against the leaders. This isn't going well. Another change coming in. Let's get rid of White. Let's put Gullen up front. Come on, let's at least try and get a point from this. That would be nice. But it doesn't look like it. We're in the last five minutes. We've had one shot on target, and that's it. Let me make my changes. Steve only for Jackson. Final change. Hopefully get a goal in stoppage time to save a point. Let's see. It is a, a clearance by Trafford, but it's another throw for Hamilton. And that's going to be it. We're into the very last minute. And there's you don't see stoppage time highlights unless they're going to be goals. And that's it. Poor, really. A good first half. No, we weren't excellent. We were rubbish. I'm going to say we were the underdogs and you gave it your best. But no, we had one shot on target. Uh, that wasn't good enough. And Harper wasn't good. Left back is a problem. Left back is a problem. We tried, we looked for players for it and we can't buy anyone else now because we've run out of money. So I'm going to have to make do with what I got. But this, th this feels like a step down from Turkey. It, like I, sh I mentioned what the positions of the league last time. It's definitely a step down. Not been, it's not the best choice to come here, but 
it was one of the first offers I got. It was the only actual offer I got. We did have some interviews, one of which was with Dundee. Where are Dundee? See, they're up in fourth. They might have been better, but I think they went with someone else. Yeah, they went with Gary McAllister. And Norway was an option with uh, Strums Gazette, whose season had started at that time. They'd only played that six or seven games, though. We stay seventh after that, though. Uh, five games played, one win. It's not fantastic, but hopefully we can get some better results. But I know, like, it's, like we're still learning the team. This happened with uh, with the Farty side. Like the first season, it did take a little while to get used to the team and try and get them working to the tactic I had. But yeah, this this is the same thing's happening here. I mean, it might take some time. We might improve in the second part of the season, but so far I've not been too impressed with what I've seen. We didn't didn't get many chances in that at all. We had the one goal from the free kick that was our only shot on target and it was a dead ball. So from open play, we didn't have a shot on target. That's not good enough. So let's have a look at our next fixtures. And then like I said, we're going to try not to play teams more than once. So Queen of the South, we will try and avoid for the rest of the season. And the same with Hamilton as well. Unless it plays a big part in the way we finish, then you probably won't see those teams again this season. But off camera, Celtic reserves in the Tullock's Wafer Cup third round, which I think is like it's called like the Scottish Challenge Cup or something like that. There's a lot of trophies in Scotland. You've got the League, you've got the Scottish Cup, you've got the Scottish League Cup, and you've got the Challenge Cup. So that I just not the microphone, I'm sorry. But there's a lot of trophies to go for here. We're only interested in the league, but we've done well in the Betfred Cup. Scottish Cup fourth round is in January. There's a lot to get through as well as the league, but we're not interested in that stuff. Uh, I've also got Rangers in the Bed Pro Cup quarterfinal. That's a gimme. Um, nothing to lose there, but we'll most likely lose. Dunfermline, Alloa, and Partick Thistle in the championship. We're going to come back next time for Morton and the start of the uh, October part of the season. The start of October. It's a month. Morton next time. Hopefully we get some points in those three championship games. Dunfermline are fifth. Alloa are sixth. Partick are second, but we beat them in the cup. They might have had a rotated team for that. I'm not quite sure. So far, it, it's been a average start to the season. Below average, if I'm honest. Uh, we haven't done great. Hopefully, we can get some better results. But that is going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Leave comments. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, do consider subscribing and turning on notifications. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Going to go for Morton, who are below us, actually. Hopefully, we can get a result. Get some results against those other teams and yeah do better than we are it's been a it's been, it's been a poor start not terrible but not great but that will do it for today guys thank you for watching i'll see you soon goodbye